obviously sheep represent the male sheep is a ram right and he's mm -hmm. distinguished from the female adult sheep because he has horns mm -hmm. and the only time you see in the in the in the wow you see you may see two rams going at it so that to, to mate for to mate with a particular female sheep right but other than that, they're very, very docile, gentle, loving creatures. Um, so let's pick up some some scripture about rams. A lot of scripture in in uh, in, the, in the in the Bible about rams. So let's pick this up. Let's pick it up first in Genesis chapter twenty-two. This is regarding uh, our father Abraham when he was about to sacrifice his son Esau. Uh, sister. Gigi, if you'll pick this up in uh, Genesis chapter 22, verse 7 through 18. Genesis 22, 7 through 18. All right, one second. All right, Genesis 22, verse 7. And Esau spake, um, spake unto Abram his father and said, My father... And he said, here, are, here am I, my son. And he said, behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abram said, my son, Elohim will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. Mm -hmm. So they went both of them together so, and they came to the... So hold on. Ahead. Now, Isaac didn't say, where's the goat or where's the cattle for a burnt offering? He said, where's the what? The lamb <clears throat> for a burnt offering. Because he, he, he was used to his father sacrificing lambs. Mm -hmm. So the babies, a year old and under, were the most sacrificed. And we're going to get into that a little bit more a little bit later. But mm -hmm. again, yeah. lamb, remember, is the baby mm -hmm. sheep. Okay? All right. Go ahead, sister. Um, verse 9. And they came to the place which Elohim had told him of. And Abram built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of Yah called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not your hand upon the lad, neither do you anything unto him. For now I know that you fear Elohim, seeing that you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And so what does that tell us, sisters? Yahweh was, was, like, was, obe he, he was, was obedient, obedient and Yahweh is going to try us like mm -hmm. gold going through the fire, right? If he tried them, isn't he going to try us? Yes, absolutely. We all have had our trying times. And Yahweh has brought us through it because of our obedience. Okay, go ahead, sister. Um, verse 13. And Abraham, said, uh, Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Mm -hmm. So, praise Yah, in the stead of a lamb, he offered up an, an adult male sheep, mm -hmm. which yeah. is a ram, yeah. instead of his son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Instead of the lamb, which is the little kids, mm -hmm. he offered mm -hmm. up an adult ram. Like an adult? Yeah. yeah. Sure. yeah. And yeah. you know what? Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking of. But prior to tonight, Upon reading this, you know, in the past, mm -hmm. I thought that ram was a whole nother animal. I know really? it's me too. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Excuse me. Praise y'all. So yeah, John mentioned the fact that Yahshua was an adult too. Yeah. Right? An adult ram. But he was also called what? The lamb of Yah. Right. The reason he was called the lamb, and we're gonna get into that in this class too. Yah's will. We will at some point. Because he was the Passover sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And when we get into the sacrifices of the Passover, and a lamb, one year old and under, without blemish, right. had to be yeah. sacrificed. Yeah. So that's why he was called the lamb. But literally, he was an adult. So he really was, what, a ram. Right? Okay. Praise God. 
Okay, let's go to Joshua chapter 5, verse 13 through 6. Joshua 5, 13 through 6. Now, ram horns were used for a lot of different reasons. As a matter of fact, uh, when we were at NCCI, we used to have what was called, what, a ram's horn that blew, was blown every Sabbath and every feast day, what, to call the assembly together. Even though we know in Numbers chapter 10, ram's horns were overlaid with silver, right? But there was a time when they were just the ram, the horns of the ram that was being used. And this is one occasion where that is being displayed. So horns of the ram were used for several different reasons. One for trumpets or horns to be, to be blown and for containers. And we're going to read these two examples. So we're at Joshua. Sister Cheryl, you feel like reading? Yes. Joshua chapter 5 mm -hmm. and pick it up at verse 13 through chapter 6, 1 through 16. Verse 13, and it came to pass when Yahshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Yahshua went unto him and said unto him, art thou for us or for our adversaries? Hmm. And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of Yahweh, I am I now come? And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto his servant? Praise Yah. So even though this being had the, the physical appearance of a, as a man, he was the captain of the angelic mm. host of Yah himself, wasn't he? And that's why Joshua fell on his face. Now, they were about to uh, go to war with uh, the, the, the Africans that were in Jericho, right? Mm. So that's why the, the host of Yah was there. Because it wasn't mm. just man fighting for Israel, or else we would have lost miserably. Right. It was the angels of Yah fighting for Israel. Mm -hmm. Just Very like sure. he's going to fight for us mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So fear right. not, my sisters. We can't see the the angelic beings that's protecting us, that's here mm -hmm. to make sure Yah's word come to pass, Jesus. right? And that the satanic angelic beings do not win this battle, and they're not. Trust that, my sisters. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, go ahead, sister. Yes. Verse 15, And the captain of Yahweh's host said unto Yahshua, Lose thy shoe from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou stand is holy. Hmm. And Joshua did so. Praise Yah. Chapter six, now, verse now check one. Check that out. Now, this, you had um, mm -hmm. you had Africans all up in the land of of so-called Canaan, right? But right. Yahweh had espied that land from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. That is Eden itself, mm -hmm. from the Nile River all the way over to the Great River Euphrates is Yah's what? Pasture. Mm -hmm. It's Yah's land. It's his green earth. And mm -hmm. he gave it to us. So regardless mm -hmm. of who was in the land and control at that time, that angel told him what? Remove your shoes because yeah. the place you stand is holy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Because it's the only area in Praise the earth that Israel has set his foot on. So it, mm -hmm. has, it is holy. It is holy. where he placed man that he made in his own image and likeness mm -hmm. in what Very the sure. garden of, mm -hmm. of, of 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 eden eden being from the now to the great river euphrates the garden being dead smack in the middle which is jerusalem the mm -hmm. pasture of yah mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing my sisters mm -hmm. go ahead sister mm -hmm. Okay, chapter 6, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came mm -hmm. in. 
And Yahweh Sounds said... Sounds familiar, don't it? Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. And Yahweh said unto Yashura, See, I have given unto thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shall that thou do for six days. Hmm. And seven priests shall hear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horn. Seven trumpets of what? Of ram's horn. Of ram's horn. So every piece of a ram or a sheep was used for our purposes. Mm -hmm. For food, Mm -hmm. for beverages, the milk, right? For Mm -hmm. clothing, for uh, even coverings. Mm -hmm. We're going to see that ram skins were dyed red to cover what? The tabernacle Mm. or the tent. So every piece Mm. of that animal was used. Unlike most other animals, every piece of it was used for to help Israel and to sustain Mm -hmm. Israel. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Verse 4 again. And seven (laughs) priests shall bear... Before the ark, seven trumpets of ram's horns, and the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpets. Yeah, so perfect. And it shall. Mm-hmm. Hold on one second. Sis. And it, yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. so perfect. Um, if you look at we, you know, he said that you they will go around the city once, and they will do it mm-hmm. six days, mm-hmm. and seven priests shall bear the seven trumpets, mm-hmm. and on the seventh day. They shall compass the city seven mm-hmm. times, mm-hmm. and they shall blow with these seven mm-hmm. trumpets. Hallelujah. Completion. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm-hmm. Total completion. Or very precise, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Y'all's very precise yes. is us that have trouble yes. in mm-hmm. following what he said. Amen. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah, mm-hmm. my sister. Yeah. So true. Yeah. So true. That shows also the importance of the seventh day. As Praise well, right? Praise mm-hmm. Praise seven times you shall do this on the seventh day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, at verse 5. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when he hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, Mm. and the wall of the city shall fall down Mm. flat, Mm. and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not going to read all of this, but pick up my sister in um, verse 12, and then we're just going to read, yeah, 12 and 13. Okay, 12. And Yahshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of Yahweh. Mm. And seven priests bearing seven Mm. trumpets of ram's horn before the ark of Yahweh went out. On, on continually and blew with the trumpets and the armed men went before them. But the rewarded came after the ark of Yahweh. The priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. Praise Yah. And I, I'm sure you all, if you haven't looked at your, your photos yet, there is that picture of uh, a ram, right? And the horns. And so go through these pictures and you'll get an idea of what the lamb looked like, what the sheep, the adult you looked like, and what the rams looked like. Those horns were amazing, mm-hmm. amazing mm-hmm. Uh, items. I mean, truly, mm-hmm. any animal that has horns, mm-hmm. but the ram's horns, they curve. Yeah. And so they were also able to be used as containers. Because mm-hmm. they were hollow. Right, because mm-hmm. they were hollow inside, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. So well. we're going to get an example of that. My sister Cheryl. Oh, that's the ram. Mm-hmm. Itself. That's the ram itself. Yep. Um, so take a look at your pictures of rams while we're looking at this, and then okay. sister Cheryl, I want you to go over to verse eighteen and read through twenty. Okay. Verse eighteen, and ye and ye in any wise kept yourselves from accursed things, the accursed things. Lest ye make yourselves accursed. Mm -hmm. When ye take of the accursed thing and make the camp of Israel accursed Mm -hmm. and trouble it. Mm -hmm. 
But all the silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto Yahweh. They shall come un into the treasury of Yah. Mm -hmm. So the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets, and it came to pass. When the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat. Hmm. So that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And so the, ver the next verse says, and they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, mm -hmm. young and old, mm -hmm. ox and sheep and ass with the edge of the short sword. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that was, was the complete instructions from Yahweh, right? Mm -hmm. But the mm -hmm. silver and the gold, it was supposed to all go into the treasury, right? Mm -hmm. Now y'all know what Israel did, right? We not we don't have to read the story. We had we had some hard head folks among us. Somebody that was what lusting for silver and gold. And what did they do? They took it and hid it in their tent. Mm -hmm. and, and and Samaria, what happened with the tent? That and everything pertaining to them went under the ground. <laughs> Yeah, obedience, I say. Obedience, I say. Don't they know that if it went into the treasure of Israel, it was going to be divided among them when they all came out and went, got into their own land? Mm -hmm. Why would right. you try to hoard mm -hmm. when the instructions was very clear? That's what I mean by as a flock. We have to all be obedient, blind faith in Yah. Let him right. lead us and guide us. Mm -hmm. That's uh -huh. all we got to do. And everything's going to be well. Uh -huh. All right. Praise y'all. Let's go and deal with this example of the ram's horn being used as a container. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 16, 1 through 13. 1 Samuel chapter 16, mm -hmm. 1 through 13. And this is one of the beloved stories because this is bringing on the first shepherd of Israel, King David. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 1 Samuel 16. And who hasn't read yet? John, are you still like reading? Mm -hmm. uh, Johanna's going to read. 1 Samuel 16, 1 through 13. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 1. And Yahweh said unto Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, hmm. seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fill thine horn with oil, and go. I will send thee to Jesse of Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. The, the horn that he filled was a ram's horn. Mm -hmm. That's the only horn yeah. they had that, that they could fill. Mm -hmm. It was a ram's horn. And the ram's mm -hmm. horn, the priest used that to carry their what? Anointing mm -hmm. oil. Mm -hmm. So he was going to anoint the next king of Israel, mm -hmm. which is King David. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's how important those ram's yeah. horns were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, sister. Okay. Verse 2, and Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hear it, he will kill me. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh said, take a heifer with thee and, I, and say, I come to sacrifice to Yah. And call Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show thee what you shall do. And you shall anoint unto me him whom I name unto thee. And Samuel did that which Yahweh spake, and came to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming, hmm. and said, Come as you peaceably? Because when you see a yeah. prophet or a priest come into your city, mm. you be like, okay, mm. well, we, we know gonna, we yeah. know we done done something wrong. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You come in peace? Mm. <laughs> or you come with a plague? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Verse 5. And he said, peaceably. <laughs> and I am come to sacrifice unto Yahweh. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass, when they were come, that he looked on Eli Eliab, and said, surely Yahweh an Yahweh's anointed is before him. That was the oldest son of Jesse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. But Yahweh said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, hmm. because I have refused him. Hmm. For Yahweh seek, uh, seeth not as man seeth. 
For man looketh on the outward appearance, but Yahweh looketh on the heart. Isn't that the truth, y'all? Praise Yah. Praise Yah. It's as it is this Praise day. Yeah. Praise Yah. We look on the outward yeah. appearance. Uh -huh. It said man, period. Mm -hmm. That's us too. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. But Yahweh, what? Looks mm -hmm. at the heart. Mm -hmm. Because out of the heart, that's where that gentleness and faithfulness mm -hmm. and loving kindness and all, this fruit of the spirit lies yes. Yes. in the in heart. heart. Mm -hmm. And that's what he looks for. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've got to what? Clean up mm -hmm. and purify. Because uh, on, the only way we will follow mm -hmm. Yahweh blindly and obediently is we clean up our heart. Mm -hmm. And Praise not you. let us be led by what our eyes mm -hmm. see or what we can touch or taste mm -hmm. or feel, right. mm -hmm. but our heart. Or what we yeah. think in our brain. Or what we think in our brain. Hallelujah, sister. Mm -hmm. Praise y'all. Because we can't think of what he has, he has for us. Because right. what do y'all say? Mm -hmm. My thoughts mm -hmm. are not, are not, not your thoughts. thoughts. Right. My ways mm -hmm. are not your ways. Right. Your ways. My, right. my foolishness is, right. is, is higher mm -hmm. than your right. wisdom. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm paraphrasing, but y'all get the picture, we do, right? We do, we do, definitely. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. And you know, I wanted to say, I know during this time, this is a good time to reflect mm -hmm. on so much of that. Mm -hmm. Even if, if we have gotten tired or tangled up into um, uh, our hearts not being where it should be. Mm -hmm. But it just seems like this is a good time to reflect. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so many things. Yeah. So, so many, many things. things. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Yeah, sure. Nate and I talk about that all the time too. That even though there's lots of things going on right now, we just can count so many blessings that yes. mm -hmm. I feel like all of this has brought. Just a whole mm -hmm. new focus on things. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. mm -hmm. Setting mm -hmm. away of things that don't even matter. Right. Like that's right. what been going on with me like yeah. stuff that I'm like I don't even care about any of that stuff right we've right. been we've yeah. been doing yeah. so much yeah. busy work yeah. we haven't mm -hmm. really had time mm -hmm. to what they say sit and smell the roses mm -hmm. so to speak mm -hmm. or, or just really be still. focus on y'all yeah exactly still. Yeah, just and be still yes. how to do that mm -hmm. and not feel praise like oh, praise y'all exactly right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. so you know yeah, but, I, out of this evil has come some good Yes. Yeah, money money won't have anything to do with right. you know the final outcome. Hallelujah. It won't money won't even be right. in you know a, a player in what we're going to be right. ready yes. or prepared to go through. Hallelujah. This thing right here is going to bring everybody to the same level. Yes, absolutely, and that's what they're yeah. doing. We can see that right. plainly. You either going to yeah. be the haves or the have nots. Right? Yeah. And and the haves are is what, one percent? The haves <laughs> right. is nobody. Yeah. One percent of the one percent, probably. Right, right. Exactly. It's exactly. Me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good point, sister Cheryl. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and and I definitely agree because it's at this point when we're dealing with all these things that are coming up and that are that are coming upon us mm -hmm. that it's time mm -hmm. to just you know, just be at peace. Peace let, be still. Peace be still. Let Yah's will be done. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. I say, I say mm -hmm. let, but yes. we don't let anything. Yeah. But we need mm -hmm. to just, yes. just, just sit down. Yeah. And Relinquish be quiet. our yes. so-called control. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. 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 We don't control nothing. Right. 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 Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's just like we a sheep. Mm -hmm. It's just like a sheep. If if it were not for the shepherd. The sheep easily goes astray. Yeah, right. there you go. Mm -hmm. right. And that's, that's what so has true. happened to our people. We're mm -hmm. going to see that. It's mm -hmm. our shepherds, our pastors, our ministers that's led us astray, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. From, from mm -hmm. time immemorial. Right. Even the yeah. king, yeah. when the king was evil, what happened to the people? Hmm. They was evil too. They fell, right. didn't they? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They took on the evil ways of whatever was going on right. and we have around to, them. And we have to understand that whatever position Yah has put us in, he has put us in that position. Right. The nation's yes. not in no control. Right. They doing what he yeah. tell them to do. Right. Mm -hmm. even, right. Even the evil angels that they're, that, that's working for them mm -hmm. is doing what Yah say. Absolutely. 100%. So, he, so he's got this. Right. He, creates, he got this. He creates peace and he creates evil. Peace. Praise y'all. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah. I used to, it's, yeah, it's okay. Okay. You can open the other one if you want. I okay, think, go I ahead. I think I was sister. on verse 8. Um, we had yes, 1 verse Samuel eight. 16, verse 8. Uh -huh. Then Jesse uh, called Abinadab and made him to pass before Samuel, and he said, Neither have Yahweh chosen this. It's the second oldest. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. Jesse made Shema. Uh, to pass by, and he said, Neither have Yahweh chosen this. Huh. 
Again, Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Yahweh hath not chosen these. Hmm. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are these, are here all thy children? Hmm. And he said, There remaineth yet one, the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep. Hmm. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, and withal of a great, of a beautiful countenance, mm -hmm. and goodly to look to. So he was he said, "Arise, anoint him, for this is he." But check this out. Mm -hmm. His father wasn't even thinking about allowing him to line up mm -hmm. to be anointed king. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he kept the sheep. Mm -hmm. He was the shepherd. Yeah, right. yeah. He was the youngest. He was, he was the youngest, mm -hmm. naive, immature, mm -hmm. and he out there laying out in the in the field with the sheep. Mm -hmm. Didn't even consider him. Check that mm -hmm. out. Right, right. He just dis okay. he discounted him. Yeah. Yes, he did. He discounted him. He said, "We're not doing nothing. Go mm -hmm. get him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Send for him now. Mm -hmm. We gonna hold this thing up until he mm -hmm. comes." Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And what did Yahweh say? That's him. That's him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Arise, Praise anoint him, for this is he. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. Verse 13, and Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. Hmm. And the spirit of Yahweh came upon Dawid from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Now, did David have anything to do with that? Mm. Anything? Mm -hmm. Did his other brothers have anything no, to do with that? No. His father? Mm -hmm. Even Nobody. Samuel? Yah chose. Yah chose. Mm -hmm. Yah chose. Yah chose. And Yah's spirit came mm -hmm. upon that young man from that day forward. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Wasn't nothing he had done. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So, sisters, all we got to do is be obedient. Y'all got you. this. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Y'all mm -hmm. got this. No sense in fearing. Mm -hmm. Now, let's mm -hmm. see some exploits of this brother because one of the greatest battles in history was performed by this lone man, boy, mm -hmm. David, and one of the greatest fighters in history, Goliath. Hmm. This dude mm -hmm. looked like one of these aliens, that, you know, one of these right, Robocops right. they have out here now, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's, let's check it out. Um, Sister Johanna, pick up chapter 17. Did you go through what I... What mm, we, uh, 13, yeah. 13, okay. Pick up chapter 17, verse 1. 17, verse 1. And you're going to read. Read uh, 12 through 58. Chapter 17, verse 12. Not one. Mm -hmm. Through 58. First Samuel 17, verse 12 through 58. Okay. Verse 12. And we might skip around a little bit in this, mm -hmm. but. Verse 12. Now, Dawid was the son of the uh, um, Ephratite. Ephratite of Bethlehem, Yehuda, um, whose name was Jesse. And he mm -hmm. had eight sons, and the man went among them for an old man in the days of Saul. Mm -hmm. And the three eldest sons of Jesse went and followed Saul to battle. And the names of his three sons that went to the battle were Eliab, the firstborn, and the next son to him, Amenadab, Abinadab, and the third, Shema. And David was the youngest, and the three eldest followed Saul. Mm -hmm. But Dawid went in return from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. And the Philistines drew near morning and evening, um, presented himself forty days. And Jesse said unto Dawid his son, Take now for thy brethren an ephah of, the parched, of this parched corn, and these ten loaves, and run to the camp to thy brethren, mm -hmm. and carry these ten cheeses unto the captain of their thousand, and, to, and look how thy brethren fare. And that, and that lets you know that our people ate plenty of bread, mm -hmm. cheese, plenty of corn, and cheese. plenty of cheese, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Well, what's happened to it? Hmm. What's happened to this stuff today? It's been adulterated. GMO back, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yes, Just yes. not even the same right. anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's deep. Go ahead. Okay, so verse 9, 19. Um, now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of um, Elah, fighting with the Philistines. And Dawid rose up early in the morning and left the sheep with a keeper and took and went, and as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the trench as the host was going forth to the fight. Now it said in verse 20, it says, Dawid rose up early in the morning and left the sheep with a keeper. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, a keeper is sort of like uh, a hired 
attendant, if you will, mm -hmm. right? Right. So the, the hireling is mm -hmm. what it's called in the mm -hmm. scripture. And we're going to read that when we talk, when we go to the New Testament with Yahshua. Mm -hmm. A hireling doesn't care mm -hmm. as much for the sheep as do the shepherds. Mm -hmm. okay. Substitute right? teacher. Substitute teacher. That's a good <laughs> Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, or you can think of this being um, like on the, on the plantation. You right. had the overseer. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. right. They didn't care mm -hmm. if they beat them slaves to death because it wasn't their money. Right. right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't like the owner, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So he he left them with a she, with the uh, a keeper, so he could go and do what his father told him, which is take food and bread and corn right. and cheese to his brothers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. So okay. remember that as we go through this class. Okay, okay. Uh, I think I was at twenty one. Mm -hmm. um, did I finish uh, that? Let me let me go back. Verse twenty. I'll read it again. And Dawid rose up early in the morning and left the sheep with a keeper and took and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the trench as the host was going forth to the fight mm -hmm. and shouted for the battle. And Israel and the Philistines had put the battle in array, army against army. Mm -hmm. And Dawid left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage and ran into the army and came and saluted his brethren. Mm -hmm. And as he talked to the, with them, Behold, there came up a um, champion, the Philistines of Gath, Go Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words, mm -hmm. and Dawid heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him and were sore afraid. And the men of Israel said, Have you seen this man that has come up? Surely to defy Israel he come up. Hmm. Is he come up? And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king, will enrich him with riches mm -hmm. and will give him his daughter and make his father's house um, free in Israel. Hmm. And I Meaning would, free for ta of taxes. Mm -hmm. okay. You wouldn't have to pay right. anything if you wow. kill this giant, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 26. Taxes, mm -hmm. you didn't have to serve in the army anymore. Mm -hmm. You didn't have any of those duties that mm -hmm. normal citizens had towards the king, mm -hmm. right? Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Verse 26. And I we spake unto the men and that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth the Philistine and taketh away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine huh. that he should defy the armies of the living mm -hmm. Elohim? Check that out. Yeah. Little shepherd boy, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Right. African. Right. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, sister. Mm -hmm. Uh, verse 27, and the people answered him after this manner, saying, So shall it be done to the man that killeth him. <laughs> and Elab, the eldest brother, heard um, when he spake unto the men, and Elab's anger was kindled against David. Mm -hmm. And he said, Why came you down hither? And with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? <laughs> now you're going to get to see. <laughs> you know you're supposed to be tending the sheep. Who you left them with? Yeah, you yeah. down here to spy out what the army's doing. Mm -hmm. Little brat. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. um, I know thy pride and the naughtiness <laughs> of thine heart. For you are come down that you might see the battle. Mm -hmm. And Dawid said, what have, I now, what have I now done? Is there not a cause? Right. Same and, thing you should be doing. Mm -hmm. Speaking up, standing up for the Elohim of Israel. Why are you afraid of this Philistine? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sister. Yeah. It's, it's funny how that goes. The anger that should be directed towards the, the, the one or the direction that's causing the issue. Right. It gets broken off from that direction and gets taken out on others that are amongst. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Verse uh, 29. And Dawi said, I said that, um, yeah, verse 30. And he turned him from he turned from him toward another and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. Mm -hmm. And when the words were heard which Dawid spake, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. And Dawid said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Huh. And Saul said unto said to David, You are not able to go against the Philistine to fight with him, for you are but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And Dawid said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. Check that out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he I, didn't say a wolf a or lion. a fox. Right. 
This little boy, this little brother said a lion and a bear. Yeah. You can't get no no no, no larger and more ferocious no. than them two no. in the jungle. You hear me? Seriously, yeah. seriously. Yeah. I mean, if, mm -hmm. if he had said there came a fox, yes, he did. <laughs> right, right, right. You know that little rod that he may have had would have been there. That little fox <laughs> on out the way, right? Mm -hmm. Or there came a wolf, yeah. a lion, and a bear. Yeah. Okay, go mm -hmm. ahead, sister. Putting it in perspective for y'all, right? For sure. Mm -hmm. Go for ahead. Sure. Uh, uh, Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yeah. And I went out after him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. And, um, and when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. <laughs> that was the lion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. Uh -huh. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, mm -hmm. seeing he mm -hmm. has defied the armies of the living Elohim. Praise God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. David, um, uh, said moreover, Yahweh that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of the Philistine. And Saul said unto Dawid, Go, and Yahweh be with you. Hallelujah. Faith right there. Praise God. <laughs> and Saul armed Dawid with his armor, and he put on a helmet of brass upon his head and also armed him with the coat of a male. <laughs> a coat of a male. That's yeah. interesting. Male armor. That the the, the the armor that they put on, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that's what they call it, coat of mail. Mm -hmm. In other words, really, it's coat of uh, brass or, mm -hmm. iron or iron or whatever it yeah. is that mm -hmm. the coat was made of, mm -hmm. like a vest. Yeah. Right. Verse 39. And Dawid girded up his sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go, for he had not proved it. And Dawid said... In other said, words, he had never used mm -hmm, this armor mm -hmm. before, right? right? This coat of armor. Right. He was like, uh-uh, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. And Dawid said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. Mm -hmm. And Dawid put them off him. And he took his staff in his hand, and he chose him five smooth stones out of the brook, mm -hmm. and put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had, even in a script. In his what? Mm -hmm. In his shepherd's bag. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see when we get into Psalms 23 that shepherds throughout the world carry a bag, a sling, with a slingshot in it, mm -hmm. mostly, especially our people, mm -hmm. with little rocks. Mm -hmm. Had they also carried a rod and a staff? Get out! Right, mm -hmm. the rod was for uh, correction, or if the, or for a bear, yeah. or well, right. I shouldn't say a bear because that's unusual. <laughs> right. But if you know an enemy came to try to steal the sheep mm -hmm. or the lamb or the or the rams, then they would they would use that rod to to, to yeah. take care of them, yeah. right? Yeah. Scare them off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The the staff mm -hmm. was used what to guide and mm -hmm. to lead right. them. And they would gently use the staff to bring them back in line. Mm -hmm. But it was basically because that staff was long and tall and they saw it. And so they would follow mm -hmm. wherever that staff was, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into some more definitions, more examples rather, of the rod and the staff when we get into Psalms 23. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Okay, so verse 40. And he took the staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had even in a script, and his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. Hmm. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David, <laughs> and the man that bare the shield went before him. Mm -hmm. And the Philistine looked about and saw Dawid. He disdained him, mm -hmm. for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. Mm -hmm. And the Philistine um, uh, said unto Dawid, Am I a dog that you comest to me with staves? Mm -hmm. And the Philistine cursed David uh, by his by his gods. And we know the major god of the Philistines mm -hmm. was Dagon, right? Mm -hmm. right? Dagon was half man, half fish mm -hmm. that the Philistines mm -hmm. worship. As a matter of fact, the uh, Ark of the Covenant went into the cities of uh, the Philistines, right? Mm -hmm. They put it into the temple of Dagon. Next day they came in, their God was face down on his face, right? Mm -hmm. And the city began to be plagued. So they took the ark and they moved it to another city. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened. Mm -hmm. Yahweh plagued them with mice and plagued them with um, uh, hemorrhoids mm -hmm. and all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. until they sent that ark of the covenant back to Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, go oh. ahead. Sister. And you know, another thing about that God, their, their God, uh, Dagon, Dagon, is um, the Pope's, his head. Is, is, oh, yeah. Yeah, fish, yeah, fish yeah, like, the fish right. hat is just like that. Absolutely. Takes from that. Hallelujah. Um, verse 
44. 44. Okay, thank you, 44. And the Philistines said to Dawid, um, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the mm -hmm. air and to the beasts of the field. Hmm. Then said Dawid to the Philistine, You come to, come to me with the sword and with the spear and with the shield, but I come to thee in the name of Yahweh of hosts, the Elohim, the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. This day will Yahweh de deliver you unto my hand, and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee. <laughs> And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air mm -hmm. and to the wild beasts of the earth, and um, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Amen. 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 Now, don't y'all know that this is the same situation that we're facing mm -hmm. today? Yes. These, these, mm -hmm. these people, they're giants in that they have all mm -hmm. the weapons mm -hmm. and all the power. Mm -hmm. We are mm -hmm. nothing. They, and they, they laughing at us like the armies of the Philistines was laughing at David when mm -hmm. he said this to them, right. to them right? Mm -hmm. No way are they going to defeat us. We're going to kill these sons mm -hmm. of guns, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they're thinking. Because mm -hmm. they don't know who we have on yeah. our side. Yeah. And all we have to do, sisters, is just lean on y'all. Relinquish whatever we have to mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be mm -hmm. completely in his hands mm -hmm. and know he got this. Mm -hmm. He told us he, he would have it. Mm -hmm. He wrote it down that this is what stuff would happen. Mm -hmm. So let him do what he's going to do because don't get in his way. Right. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do but mess stuff up? Right. Kick right? The break. Let them laugh and talk and, and, and talk about how they're going to give us their vaccines with these mm -hmm. so-called chips mm -hmm. in it and all kinds of mess. Mm -hmm. They are not going to defeat Israel right. because right. Yahweh fights for us. Praise Yahweh. Praise 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 um, verse 47. And all this assembly shall know that Yahweh saveth not with the sword and spear. Mm. Hmm. Just like that. Amen. Because yeah. we don't um, have none. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yaakov mm -hmm. used to say if we put all our guns together, it'd be a paper bag. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> a paper bag. Mm -hmm. What we got? Mm -hmm. Right. What do we have right. to fight with, yeah, sisters? Nothing compared to what these Gentiles got. Nothing. Nothing compared to what these Gentiles got. Yeah. So, so how can we make ready? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yahweh, you said you would lead and guide us and protect us. Mm -hmm. I'm surrendering to your hand. Mm -hmm. Praise yeah. God. That's all we can do. Right. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what the, the Hebrew man did? Mm -hmm. How when they was walked into the um, the fiery furnace? Yes. yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, they sister. they literally, they gave, they just walked. Absolutely. They Praise said, we, they told them, said, we don't know. It may be that Yah will save us or won't, but it will be Yah's will. Right. Mm -hmm. But we do That's know this. Day. We're not going to worship your God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We do yeah. know yeah. this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Verse 47, and this assembly shall know that Yahweh saveth not with the sword and spear, for the battle is Yahweh's, and he will give you um, into our hands. Amen. And it, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it came to pass uh, when the Philistine rose, arose and came and drew near to meet David, that Dawid hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. Hmm. And Dawid put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slang it hmm. and smote the Philistine in the forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead hmm. and he fell upon his face upon hmm. to the earth. Wow. So Dawid prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But hmm. there was no sword in the hand of Dawid. Hmm. Therefore Dawid ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. Hmm. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. Check that out. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This was a huge, mm -hmm. huge mm -hmm. giant, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What did he have, like six toes and stuff and six fingers on it? Huge, mm -hmm. tall. Yeah. That little man, mm -hmm. little boy, mm -hmm. little young man, I mm -hmm. should say, mm -hmm. went and got on, stood on top of this man's body. It was mm -hmm. so huge. Mm -hmm. Took his sword mm -hmm. and cut off his head right. with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who would have believed it? Mm -hmm. Who would have thunk it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when they saw that, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, mm -hmm. they got out of Dodge, didn't uh -huh. they? Mm -hmm. okay. And now you know that David did not have the capability of slinging that stone in that man's head and that that being's head and killing them mm -hmm. but the angel of yah did of course of course 
It sunk into his head. You right. think a young man yeah. have that kind of power? Right, the same power. But the angel of Yah did. Absolutely, yeah. just like with Hallelujah. the bear yeah. and the lion. Just like yeah. with the bear yeah. and the lion. And that's why David yeah. wasn't concerned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, you didn't defy my God. Uh -uh. I know his power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't work through me many times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, hallelujah, you, hallelujah. And it's just like when you're talking about the angel of Yah did this. The same thing with what was the the, um, the prophet's name, um, Balaam, when mm -hmm. with he had the ass, yeah. right? And in uh, and then what he called the angel opened his eyes and clue. Uh, so with Elisha, right? Right. His Elisha and the prophets, he was like, Lord, you know, they surrounded the city. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do? He right. said, Yahweh, open, open his, his eyes, eyes so you can see. Right. Mm -hmm. Mountains full of chariots. Mm -hmm. They call them aliens today, mm -hmm. right? Chariots of fire. Mm -hmm. Yah is going to fight for us. Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry because mm -hmm. he promised he would save us. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. promised. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he's given us his word. We see mm -hmm. it. We understand it. Mm -hmm. yeah. What he wants us to anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Yes. Hallelujah. Right. 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 Um, verse, where are we at? Uh, cut off his head and fled. Verse 30, 52. And the men of Israel and of Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines until... Um, you come to the valley and to the gates of Ekron hmm. and the wounded of the Philistines fell down by the way of Shechorin, even unto Gath and unto Ekron. And the children of Israel returned from chasing after the Philistines and they spoiled their tents. Hmm. And Dawi took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem hmm. and he put his armor in his tent. Hmm. And when Saul saw Dawid go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this? Who, Abner, whose son is this? And Abner said, as thy soul liveth, O king, I cannot tell. Hmm. And the king said, inquire you whose son is the stripling is. <laughs> so you know he was a little young thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Stripling. Stripling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saw, they saw power. Mm -hmm. yes. They saw power. They saw mm -hmm. what that man was, that young man was not afraid mm -hmm. yeah, because he, he knew his God was with him. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got to be. Mm -hmm. Unafraid. Mm -hmm. Completely mm -hmm. unafraid. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that man, he was trembling inside, but mm -hmm. you know what? He knew his God had. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got to do. Mm -hmm. okay. That's right. Um, verse 57. And uh, as Dawid returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, <clears throat> Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. Mm. And Saul said unto him, Whose son are you, you young man? Hmm. And Dawid answered, I am the son of thy servant Jesse, the Bethlehemite. Hallelujah. That's as far as I want you to go, my sister. Mm -hmm. The Bethlehemite. Mm -hmm. Yahshua, the son of David. Mm -hmm. David, the son of Jesse, right? Mm -hmm. A branch shall grow out of what? The root of Jesse. Mm -hmm. The branch that and that's Yahshua. Mm -hmm. So he yeah. couldn't do nothing mm -hmm. but be what? The lamb of Yah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally obedient mm -hmm. to Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Totally obedient. Mm -hmm. And the shepherd as well. Mm -hmm. His father was the shepherd of Israel. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to get into that a lot more before we uh, finish this series tonight. All right. Any questions so far? No, ma'am. Okay. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Mm -hmm. Good. Praise, Praise God. God. Let's do one more about uh, the ram, you know, and, and uh, that's going to be in Exodus. I'm sorry, Genesis chapter 31. Genesis 31 is dealing with our father Jacob. Mm -hmm. Jacob had gone uh, to Syria, otherwise called Pandanaram or Haran, to, uh, because you know this was right after he had received the birthright and, and, and through so-called deception. And Esau, you know, his mother was like, he's going to kill him. Mm -hmm. So they sent him away, and there he went to uh, Rebecca's brother's house to live. Mm -hmm. So let's pick that up. Uh, he, he, he lived and he worked for him some 20 some years, 14 years just for mm -hmm. his first and second wife, mm -hmm. the two sisters, mm -hmm. right? Rachel and Leah. Mm -hmm. And then he continued to, to, to live with them and he made Laban a rich man. Mm -hmm. I mean, but in the process of time, he was like, well, what do I have? Right. I'm making you rich and I have no nothing for mm -hmm. my wages. Mm -hmm. So Laban decided that he would give him sheep that were ring straight and grizzled i believe in mm -hmm. other words yeah. mostly sheep are white One coats color. right mm -hmm. they may have a black uh what do you call it nose mm -hmm. if you will and you'll see some of those pictures but a lot of times they're brown uh -huh. and they're streaked mm -hmm. right yeah so let's pick up this story about what happened with jacob right as he was about to leave and come back to 
uh, his family in the Holy Land. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Marie, you fill up to read? Mm -hmm. 31. Genesis 31, 1 through 13. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> verse 31. And he heard the words of Laban's son, son, saying, Jacob hath taken away all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's hath he, hath he gotten all his glory. And Jacob beheld uh, the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. Mm. And Yahweh said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy fathers, and to thy kindred, and I will be with thee. Amen. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field uh, unto his flocks, mm -hmm. and said unto them, I see your father's countenance, that it is not toward me as before, but El the Elohim of my father has been with me. Amen. And you know that with all my power I have served your father. And your father, uh -oh, and your father has deceived me, and changed my wages ten times. <laughs> but Elohim suffered him not to hurt me. Amen. If he had thus, if, if he said, right, excuse me, if he said thus, the speckle shall be thy wages. Then all the cattle bear speckle. Now, just because it says cattle, it doesn't mean mm -hmm. uh, cows. Uh, sometimes they use the word cattle and herds interchangeably. Or flock for that matter, okay. but we're going to see later on that he, they are talking about sheep. Okay, go ahead. Okay. okay. And if he said, and if he said thus, the ring streak shall be thy hire, uh, then bear all the cattle ring streak. Mm -hmm. Thus Elohim hath taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass at that time that the cattle conceived that I conceived rather, that I lifted up mine eyes, and I saw in a dream, and behold, the rams which leap upon the cattle were to ring straight, speckled and grizzled. So now you know they're talking about sheep, because mm -hmm. cows don't leap on uh, on sheep. Rams leap on sheep, right, mm -hmm. to mate with them. Mm -hmm. So behold, the rams which leap upon the cattle or sheep yeah. were ring straight, speckled, and grizzled. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, mm -hmm. sister. And the angel of Elohim spake unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob, and I said, Here am I. Mm -hmm. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes, and see all the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring streaked, speckled, and grizzled. For I have seen all that Laban doeth unto thee. Amen. I am the Elohim of Beth Bethel, mm -hmm. where thou anointest the pillar, and where thou vowest a vow unto me. Now arise and get thee out from this land. And return unto thy land, excuse me, and return unto the land of thy kindred. Okay, so that's as far as I wanted you to go. And obviously, he did return. He, he, uh, he left without uh, Laban knowing it. Laban had gone down to shear his sheep, mm -hmm. right? And, 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 and Jacob took off. He packed up his children and, and all of his ring straked and, and, and his uh, sheep and cattle mm -hmm. and left, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, now he's going to come back into the land. He's got all these possessions, great wealth. Mm -hmm. And the only thing on his mind is, my brother going to kill me. Mm. <laughs> I left 20 years ago. He was after me. And what is going to happen now? Mm -hmm. But he was what? Obedient. Because mm -hmm. Yahweh said, get you back into the land mm -hmm. that I told you of mm -hmm. and to your father. Mm -hmm. He said, I remember when he left at Bethel, remember he poured oil on a rock. And he said, yeah. Yahweh. If you will be with me mm -hmm. when I go mm -hmm. and, and come again to this place, then you'll be my Elohim, and everything I have, I'll give to you a tenth. Mm -hmm. So Yahweh remembered that vow mm -hmm. that Jacob made, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. he's telling him, I remember the vow you made, mm -hmm. and I've been with you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He didn't suffer Laban to hurt him. Mm -hmm. Laban did him wrong after wrong after wrong. From the first yeah. marriage of his daughter, mm -hmm. he wronged him, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All the way up to his changing his wages and you know if if he said okay the the the, the ring straight cattle will be yours and then all the cattle started to be ring straight he changed it and say yeah. this yeah. cattle will be yours mm -hmm. then all the cattle yeah. became that mm -hmm. yeah. so he continued to try to berate and to belittle and to you know do harm mm -hmm. to jacob mm -hmm. so jacob returns so now mm -hmm. let's go to genesis 32 and see what happens when 
uh, in terms of all that he had uh, and, and what he was going to do with it in terms of uh, in terms of Esau. Genesis chapter 32, just to pick that up at verse 1, mm -hmm. and we're going to read through 18. And Jacob went on his his way. And Jacob went on his way, and the angels of Elohim met him. Mm -hmm. And when Jacob saw them, he said, "This is Elohim's host." Hmm. And he called the name of that place Mahanaim. Mahanaim. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir, uh, the country of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, "Thus." Shall ye speak unto my lord Esau, the servant of Jacob, saith thus, I have so sojourned with him, I'm sorry, with Laban, and stayed there until now. And I, and I have oxen and asses, flocks and men, uh, men servants, and women servants, and I have sent to tell my lord that I may find grace in thy sight. And the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to thy brother Esau. And also he cometh to meet thee, and four hundred men with him. Hmm. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that was with him, and the flocks and herds and the camels. Okay, skip over to, uh, yes, skip over to verse, uh, pick it up at verse 9 and go through 18. Okay. And Jacob said, O Elohim of my father Abraham, and Elohim of my father Isaac, Yahweh which said to, unto me, Return unto thy country, and to thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. Mm -hmm. I am not worthy of the least of all your all of the mercy. You all hear this? Mm -hmm. This is our father Jacob mm -hmm. saying, I am not worthy. But he is being what? Obedient to Yahweh's mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. Are we worthy? Mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. So if we obedient... Mm -hmm. Won't Yahweh protect us too? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, John. Okay, starting at 10. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and of all the truth which thou hast shown uh, unto thy servant. Hallelujah. For with my staff I passed over this over this Jordan, and now I am become two bands. Mm -hmm. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau. For I fear him, lest he will... Come and smite me and the mother with the children. So it's not about being mm -hmm. afraid because right. they have all this power, mm -hmm. but it's about fearing Yah more mm -hmm. and knowing that if he got your back, they ain't got no power. Mm -hmm. yep. That's what we got to do. Mm -hmm. And the only way we can do that, sisters, is to continue to, to console mm -hmm. ourselves in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. What we're doing now, reading these examples, they were just but men and women. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. we are. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So if they could do it, if they can call out to the Most High, mm -hmm. and the Most High hear, mm -hmm. and He does mm -hmm. for them, won't He do it for us? Right. Right. Yeah. Because what? He said mm -hmm. in verse 10, He says, I'm not worthy of the least of all your mercies, mm -hmm. and of what? All your truth, mm -hmm. which you have showed unto your servant. Praise God. We're not worthy of His yeah. mercies, and of the yeah. truth and understanding of His word that He's shown unto yeah. us. Nope. Yeah. Mm -mm. But all we got mm -hmm. to do, my sisters, mm -hmm. is just hold on to Yah's mm -hmm. everlasting hand. Pressure. And he's going to perform mm -hmm. the things that he said. We got to cry unto mm -hmm. him just like all these, mm -hmm. all of the prophets mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. and the uh, patriarchs did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even Yahshua was afraid to death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then he hold on, wasn't he obedient? Mm -hmm. Went straight to the slaughter, mm -hmm. even. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Absolutely. And you know, right there in verse 11, he says, he says, for he fears him. Yeah. So fear is not, so fear it's exists. It's natural right. It's what we do after the fear comes. Mm -hmm. So the fear comes and then go right back to serving Yah, period. Pray, let it go. Right. That's all we can do. Right. Mm -hmm. We ain't got no power. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. Okay, go ahead, sister. First one? I think so. Uh, pick up 11. Okay. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, East, my brother, from the hand of Esau. For I fear him, lest he will come and smite me, and the mother with the children. Mm -hmm. And thou said, I will surely do a, do thee good, mm -hmm. and make thy seed as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. And isn't that the same promises mm -hmm. we're hanging on? Yep. Yeah, all Jacob did was remind Yahweh of what he said he was going right. to do. Right. 
And that's all we got to do. Mm-hmm. That's all we got to do. Mm-hmm. Yahweh, you said such and such. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You said that if we be obedient, mm-hmm. that you're going to bring us up out of this land. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. You're going to lift this curse mm-hmm. of blindness. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Praise God. And you know, this is so mm-hmm. much like uh, as we stand, because just as he said, he said, he, he mentioned those things, the blessings that Yahweh was going to mm-hmm. put. His seed was going to be as the sand of the sea, mm-hmm. which cannot be numbered yeah. for multitude, mm-hmm. while he's looking at imminent death. Imminent death. Yes. Right. So yeah, he sees good. imminent death in Praise front y'all. of his face. Praise y'all. But mm-hmm. he also knows of the promises mm-hmm. and the covenant. Yahweh, you said it. Mm-hmm. Now here come my brother with four hundred yeah. armed mm-hmm. men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead, sister. Um, thirteen. Yes. Okay. And he lodged there that same night, and took off that which came to his hand. Took of that. Took of that. I'm sorry. A present for Esau, his brother. Listen to the present. Go ahead, sister. Two hundred she goats, and twenty he goats. Two hundred ewes, and twenty rams. Thirty milch. Milch camels, which they're uh, colts, 40 kind, and 10 bulls, 20 she asses, and 10 fowls. Now, have y'all, did y'all notice something with uh, the numbers here? Mm-mm. The females were more in number than the males. Mm. Okay, 20 she goats. 200 she goats, mm-hmm. or 200 male, female goats, mm-hmm. but only yeah, 20, 20 he goats. He mm-hmm. goats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The males can have more than one. That's right. That's yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two hundred ewes or female sheep, but only what? Hmm. Twenty rams. Twenty. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's wild. Thirty camels and camels was our the mode of transportation for our people. Yeah. Camels and asses. Mm-hmm. And you've got a picture in there that shows camels and asses as well, right? Mm-hmm. Remember when uh, at, at this time, remember uh, Rachel stole her father's little figurines, his mm-hmm. little gods, oh, right? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so she she said that she couldn't get up off the camel because she was on her mission, right? Right. right. Yeah. 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 So she had put the stuff in the camel's yeah. pack uh-huh. or mm-hmm. what, yeah. what we call a saddle today, right? Mm-hmm. And she couldn't get up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you see that females have always outnumbered males, yeah. mm-hmm. even yeah. in our, we mammals too. That's all these are, they're mammals. Mm-hmm. They've always outnumbered. And, and that's for that very reason. Mm-hmm. Males have numerous seeds. Mm-hmm. All the animals do. Mm-hmm. And they can populate more. So you don't need as many males as you do mm-hmm. females. Mm-hmm. Right? Because mammals only have one, two, or three mm-hmm. children at mm-hmm. a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's true. Singles, twins, or triplets. Mm-hmm. And sheep, as we saw in that, in that uh, description, only uh, bore either singles or Twins, Twins mm-hmm. and sometimes tri- yes. All uh, right, did we finish this? I went up to what, 15? Uh, I think. Where are we at? 32. Yeah, go, through, go through 18. 15. Go through 18. All right, so verse 16. And he delivered them into the hands or the hand of his servants. Every, um, every drove by themselves and said unto his servants, Pass over before me, and put a space betwixt drove and drove. And he commanded the foremost, saying, uh, When Esau my brother meeteth me, and ask me, and ask thee, saying, Whose art thou, and whither th- goest thou, and whose are these before thee? Then thou shalt say, They be thy servants, Jacob's. It is a present sent unto my lord Esau. And behold, also, he is behind us. Okay, that's as far as I want you to go, my sister. So when you're talking about presents, you're talking about a lot of uh, wealth here mm-hmm. that he gave as a present. This was only a small portion of what Jacob had amassed mm-hmm. in all this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So again, from verse 14 through 16, 14 and 15, is just how much he was willing to give to his brother mm-hmm. as a peace offering. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Okay, so we, we, we've dealt with the ram. We've gone into uh, examples of the sheep or the adult sheep. Let's pick up uh, another example here about the sheep itself or the, the you, if you will. Let's pick up Genesis chapter 21, verses 22 through 34. Genesis 21, 22 through 34. And Sister Imani, you feel like reading? Can you hear me? Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> and this is the story of uh, our father Abraham when he went into the land of uh, Abimelech, who was an African king, obviously, in the land called Beersheba at that time. And obviously, you know, Sarai was a very, very beautiful woman. And so mm -hmm. there were, so before they started traveling, Abraham had already told her, wherever we go, tell them you yeah. my sister. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And he, mm -hmm. she really was his sister. Yeah. She was the the mother the uh, the daughter of his father, mm -hmm. but not the daughter of his mother. Right. So they were what we would consider half sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So but they were married back then. There was no law. So well, the other thing is, remember, he grew up in the household of his father, a pagan. Uh -huh. He didn't come to know y'all. Right. You know, so that's what I mean. There yeah. was no law. Mm -hmm. So he mm -hmm. he had to be come out of his father's house. Right. And then Yahweh began to reveal himself to Abraham. Mm -hmm. But that lets you know there as well. Abraham didn't have nothing to do with that. It's Yah's choosing. Mm -hmm. Yah chose us. We didn't choose him. Mm -hmm. He chose us. So Praise all you gotta you. do is believe. Yeah. Okay, pick that up, my sister Imani, mm -hmm. at uh, okay. twenty-one, verse twenty-two through thirty-four. Okay. Verse 22, and it came to pass at the time that Abimelech, Abimelech and Bilko, mm -hmm. chief captain of his host, spake to Abraham, saying, Elohim is with thee in all that thou doest. Mm -hmm. now, now, therefore, swear unto me thereby, Elohim, that thou wilt not deal falsely with me nor with my son, nor with my son's son, but according to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me and to the land wherein thou hast sojourned. Mm -hmm. And Abraham said, I will swear. Mm -hmm. Abraham reproved Abimelech because of a well of water which Abimelech's servants had violently taken away. Mm -hmm. And Abimelech said, I won't, I won't, wait a minute, I won't not who have done this thing. So in other words, I don't know who's done this thing, right? Okay, okay. Well, I don't know who's done this thing. <laughs> 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 Did thou tell me, neither yet hear I of it, but today. Mm -hmm. And Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them unto Abinelech, and both of them made a covenant. Mm -hmm. and Abraham said, seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. Mm -hmm. And Abinelech said unto Abraham, what mean the lambs? what thou hast set by themselves. And he said, for, for these seven ewe lambs shall thou take of my hand that they may be a witness unto me that I have digged this well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wherefore he called that place Be uh, Beersheba. Beersheba. Mm -hmm. Beersheba, because there they swear, both of them, Thus they made a covenant at Be Beersheba. Then Abimelech rose up and Philco, the chief captain of his host, and they returned unto the land of the Philistines. Mm -hmm. And Abraham planted a grove in Beersheba and called there on the name of, of Yahweh, mm -hmm. the everlasting Elohim. And Abraham sojourned in the in Man, many days. Great job. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So this was right after he had first went into the land and he told, you know, um, Sarah that to tell them that she was his, he was her sister, mm -hmm. that she was his sister, etc. Then they became sort of friends. Something came up where Abraham had dug a well. Abimelech's service had taken the well. So to make things right, okay. Abraham gave him the set, the set of seven ewe lambs, right? Mm -hmm. So when it says ewe lamb, what, uh, what, what, what animals were these that they he gave them? Baby, female, 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 female baby, right? Female yeah. baby lambs, yeah. exactly. If it had just said ewe, that meant adult. Mm -hmm. 
females. Mm -hmm. But because mm -hmm. it says Yui lambs, it meant female babies. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Praise yeah. Mm -hmm. To the sacrifices, etc. You're mm -hmm. going to see a lot of um, ram lambs, right? Because mm -hmm. they're male lambs, mm -hmm. male, male babies, mm -hmm. if you will. Okay. That was right. the most sacrifice. Okay. It's ram lambs. So, yeah. All and right. I just want to um, so pronounce this correctly. It's Abimelech, not Abimelech. Abimelech. It's Abimelech. Uh -huh. Abimelech. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Let's end tonight, sisters, um, in dealing with the fact that Abraham, remember when he left from Ur of the Chaldees and they first went into Syria, and then he left Syria, and that's where he left his father and his brother Nahor and all of them, that he came on down into the promised land. Um, he brought with him, of course, his wife and also his nephew, Lot, because mm -hmm. his father had died in their homeland. So Lot was like a son to Abraham. Mm -hmm. But there was one thing that Yah created between them because he wanted Lot separated from him, and it was about their flocks. So let's read that to end for tonight. In Genesis mm -hmm. chapter 13, 1 through 9. Genesis 13, 1 through 9. And who hasn't read yet? Gigi, have you read? Everybody's read, I, right? I haven't. You haven't read, Sam? Okay, nope. you, you'll pick this up for me then. Genesis right, 13, 1 through 9. And Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and Lot with him into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver and in gold. Mm. And he on his journey from the south, even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Hai. Mm -hmm. To the place of the altar, which he had made there at the first. And there Abram called on the name of Yahweh. Mm. And Lot also, which went with Abram, had flocks and herds and tents. <clears throat> And the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, hmm. so that they could not dwell together. Now you see he made a difference there between the flocks and other herds, right? Flocks mostly yeah. being sheep, but other herds could have been cattle or goats, etc. Okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sister. Verse 7. And there was a strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanite and the Perizzite dwelled then in the land. Mm -hmm. And Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray you, between me and you, and between my herdmen and your herdmen, for we be brethren. Mm -hmm. Is not the whole land before you? Mm -hmm. Separate yourself, I pray you, from me. If you will take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if you depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. Hmm. And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, before Yahweh destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of Yahweh, like the land of Egypt, as you come unto Zoar. Hmm. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves, the one from the other. Praise God. So remember, he, he, he saw what? Watered gardens, right? Almost like the Garden of Eden. He saw mm -hmm. great pastures. Remember, it was all about the flock. Mm -hmm. So he went south, which is where Jordan is. But all of this is Yah's doing, because Yahweh wanted to make sure that Abraham was in what? The land that we now call Israel. Call Israel. Mm -hmm. okay, right. So even though mm -hmm. Abraham gave him a choice, mm -hmm. it wasn't his choice. Mm -hmm. It was Yahweh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Praise Yahweh. Amen. That was it. I think you said to stop at nine. Through, uh, yes, I'm sorry, sister. Yes, you're right. All right, sister, let's end to, with some uh, psalms about, you know, just our people being the sheep of Yah. And then we're going to pick that up next week when we talk about the sacrifices of these rams and lambs. And then we're going to get into Yah being our shepherd. We're going to spend a lot of time in um, Psalms 23, our beloved Psalms 23. And y'all are going to get a kick out of just dissecting yes. the verses of that, that chapter. So let's end tonight in Psalm 78, my sisters. And we're going to pick up 
verses 51 to 55. And I think we're going to go into 80 a little bit. So just let me, let's get there and then I can tell you. Psalm 78. And Sister Samara, pick up verses 51 to 55. Come on. It's a pretty long chapter, but but this is really just going through the history of our people from when we came out of Egypt mm -hmm. all the way through him killing off half of us in the wilderness to the, the what, what we want to read tonight. So 51, my sister. Okay, verse 51. And smote all the firstborn in Egypt, the chief of their strength in the tabernacles, the pain. Mm -hmm. um, made his own people to go forth like sheep hmm. and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. You hear that? Yes. 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 Remember the video we saw? When all the, it was the aerial view and all mm -hmm. the sheep just, yes. she said what? Yahweh guided us like a flock, yes. right? In the wilderness. Yes. So yep. you think he's not going to be able to do that when we go into the wilderness mm -hmm. again? Mm -hmm. It's Yahweh that's going to guide us like a flock. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He said, but made his own people to go forth like sheep mm -hmm. and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. Hallelujah. Sure. Go ahead, sister. Verse 53. And he led them on safely so that they feared not, but the sea overwhelmed their enemy. Hmm. He brought them to the border of his sanctuary, even hmm. to this mountain, which his right hand had purchased. That's his pastor. That is Yah's yeah. pastor right there. He's talking about. Okay, go ahead, sister. Yeah. Verse 55. He cast out the heathen also before guided them in inheritance by line and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tent. Praise Yah. Now skip down to verse 67 through 72, sister. 67 through 72. Moreover, he refused of Joseph and chose not the tribe of Ephraim, mm -hmm. but the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loved. Hmm. He built his sanctuary like high palaces, like the earth, which he has established forever. Amen. He chose David also his servant and took him from the sheepfold. Hmm. Following the ewes, great with young, he brought him to feed Jacob, his people, and Israel in his inheritance. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hallelujah. He, he, what? he said he took David. Mm -hmm. He chose David, also his servant, mm -hmm. and took Dawid from the sheepfold, mm -hmm. from following the ewes, great with young. Mm -hmm. He brought Dawid to feed Jacob, Yah's people, mm -hmm. and Israel. Yah's inheritance. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he fed forty of them the skillfulness of his hands. Praise Yah. All right, sisters, we're gonna end in uh, Psalm seventy-nine, verse nine through eighty, verse one through seven, and I'll try and pick that up. Psalm seventy-nine, verse nine through eighty, one through seven. Help us, O Yahweh of our salvation, for the glory of your name, and deliver us and purge away our sins for your name's sake. Why should the sea heathen say, where is their Elohim? Hmm. You know that's what they're saying, right? Mm -hmm. They think that it's going to be slaughter time for our people, yes. but it's only going to be the ones that Yahweh deems to be slaughtered, not his remnant. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Verse 10 again. Why should the heathen say, where is their Elohim? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the revenging yeah. of the blood of your servants, which is shed. Mm. Yes. Let the sign of the prisoner come before you mm. according to the greatness of your power. Yes. Preserve yes. you those that are appointed to death. Mm. And Praise render God. unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach wherewith they have reproached you O Yahweh mm -hmm. so we your people and sheep of your pasture will give thanks give you thanks forever we will show forth your praise to all generations mm -hmm. hallelujah. hallelujah 80 and 1 <laughs> give ear 
O shepherd of Israel, you that lead yourself like a flock, you that dwelleth between the cherubims, shine forth hmm. before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your strength and come and save us. Yes. Turn us again, O Elohim, and cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Yahweh Elohim of hosts, how long will you be angry against the prayer of your people? You feed them with the bread of tears mm. and give them tears to drink in great measure. Mm. You make us a strife unto our neighbors mm. and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us again, O Elohim of hosts, and cause your face to shine and we shall be saved. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. y'all. Uh, the rest of this is it's switches from uh, the flock to a vine if you want to read the rest mm -hmm. of this but I want to okay. kind of stay on yeah. point so I didn't go into the rest of this but Yahweh we are his vine we are his vineyard and we are his flock all we got to do right. is what allow Yah to turn us mm -hmm. and we what shall be mm -hmm. saved mm -hmm. hallelujah 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 I hope y'all got something out of this and Absolutely. we're gonna just yeah.